Welcome to another edition of Rose on the Road. Today, I did not have to travel far, just across town, here over in Middleton at one of the locations for Lake Ridge Bank. With me today are Jim Tubbs, the CEO of the bank, and Paul Hoffman, president of Lake Ridge Bank. And we are here to talk about their merger, kind of the genesis about how they came together. As many of you will recall, they were each um, presidents of separate community banks here in the city, Dane County area that were very independent, very community focused, and also both very strong, healthy banks. And so, Jim, we want to talk first a little bit about, you know, really what was the genesis in bringing these two banks together? You all and your press statements talked a lot about merger of equals, and it really does seem like that's the case here. So talk a little bit about how you guys came together. Yeah, happy to. Uh, thanks for coming out. Um, yeah. The thing that was really unique, uh, so both Paul and I have had experience with truly what would be, you know, coined a merger acquisition type thing of our past experience there truly was acquisitions where maybe the financial institution was much larger, acquired another, and then you just, you know, implement your own policies, procedures, things of that nature. This though truly was a merger of equals. Um, it all started actually, Paul and I have had a, a great friendship from sitting on CBW and then WBA board of directors together and now Bankers Bank Board. And, and that friendship grew into a great element of trust over 15 years. And, that truly was the foundation, and um, I give Paul the credit of planting the seed. It was uh, one day at lunch, that would, and we'd have lunch on a regular basis, but he just said, what do you think about bringing our banks together? And um, I thought, boy, that'd be a, a big lift. We really are independent, we're both being successful right now, but are you kidding me? And uh, but 30 days later, uh, we called each other up and it's like, you know what, maybe there's a chance. And the biggest thing on the merger of equals is that's much different than a merger acquisition is it's a social things. Who's going to be the president and, C and who's going to be the CEO? Who's going to be the chairman of the board? Uh, where's the corporate headquarters going to be? Uh, and the big one, what's the name of the bank? Yeah. And certainly if, if one of our banks, Monona Bank or State Bank Cross Plains was the surviving name, I don't know if you could really ever coin it as a merger of equals. And so the thing though that was so awesome, it started with a trust between the two of us. But the thing that made it very successful is we never kept score. There were so many times when we would just be going through the hundreds of different decisions and it wasn't ever, I got this one, now you get the next one. It was really what is best. And then what also what brought us all together was um, we just believed that we could achieve more being together than what we could achieve independently going it alone. And um, the merger is a couple of months old by now, and uh, so far so good, but that's really been the genesis behind it all. Yeah, well, and as a lot of people talk about, that relationship and trust is really critical to, to any merger, but particularly so when you're really bringing two strong teams together and you've blended all of that really well from an outsider's, certainly, perspective. So, Paul, let's talk a little bit about the branding and your name, as Jim mentioned. Um, a new name was certainly intentionally part of the package here. And I do really love the name Lake Ridge Bank. We've got a representation of the lake behind us. And what people don't see is across the room is a, a photograph of uh, the ridge. So it's you know neat how you incorporate it in so many ways. But how did you come up with the name? What, does, what did the branding process look like for you? Yeah. Well, it was a lot harder than we thought it would be, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, really it sounds so easy now. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot harder than we think. But, um, you know, we did feel like it was important for us to come up with that new name. And so we um, both had brought both teams together. We worked with an ad agency and just what we're coming up with a name that we thought just really captured the genuine, authentic, really Wisconsin-based bank that we are. So we really struggled with trying to find that. And so we came up with some different iterations. And, what was neat about it was just like the combination, we had uh, both contributed to the name. So we originally came up with one name and then we adjusted it. It was kind of a, a collaboration between Jim and I to come up with that the Lake Ridge name. So that worked out great. We wanted to have something that represented kind of the, the ridges and the, the kind of almost of the fields if you look kind of out the green part of our logo and then the lake and, and just the geographic of the area. So we felt like it really captured that. It's a, it's symmetrical, so it's an equal on either side, too. And, uh, yeah. 
And we just really feel like it really captured that genuineness that we were trying for. So yeah. um, there were like 24,000 names <laughs> out there for financial institutions that are all registered URLs. So it was really difficult, but so as soon as we landed on it, it was like, that's it, let's go. Yeah. So, well, and as you said, I mean, really represents a lot of the communities that both of your banks were in, and obviously you continue to be in as well. And community reaction, very positive and strong. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's that's one of the things that we talked about from the very beginning is how do we create this super community bank that still stays very active in the communities where we have a presence, have people still volunteer, still drive economic activity, how do we stay involved and be part of that community? And a lot of our earlier messaging has been around, hey, we're, we're local, we're based here, it's not some bank from the East Coast or wherever, It's no, this is a, a local institution, which for us was really important. We thought that was important not only for our clients, but also for our shareholders. We've got 1,400 shareholders between the two banks, and so it's really important for them to know that we're based here, decisions are here, and, and we really stay active in the, in the communities. We can't lose that. Right, you know? right. So. No, and I think that's critically important. I talk a lot about diversity and the strength of the industry across the whole state, and, and your bank is a great representation of that, certainly here in southern Wisconsin. So. Thank you both very much yeah, for taking you. time Thanks, for visiting with me. I really appreciate it and wish you much success as you guys continue to move forward as Lake Ridge Bank. Great. Thank Thanks, you. Rose. Yeah, Thank so. you. Thanks all you do for us too. Appreciate yeah. it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks.